Hello everyone and welcome to TechFlow for Government and Public Facilities brought to you by Zentech Consultants. Uh, TechFlow is a recurring video cast uh, where we focus on publicly accessible venues, right? And, and we talk about the best technology practices and procedures that we have been implementing for our clients here at Zentech. Um, you know, whether it's schools, airports, municipal buildings, hospitals, restaurants, any public space that you deal with, we're going to talk to you guys about better ways to manage and control those using simple technologies you probably already own. Uh, I am Jim Coppinger. I'm a principal here at Zentech Consultants. And today I want to talk about uh, the concept of using a simple PDF as your main data source. So you know, one of the questions that I get a lot from people who have been following along with these VCAS, um, and I'm sure some of you out there are thinking it right now is, you know, I, I haven't been shy about saying that I think PDFs are the correct way to set up and structure your dashboarding and accessing all of the information you want to share on your facility. Um, and, and the reasons why, right? That's what everybody wants to why PDFs? Why not this software or that software or this process or that program? Um, and I'm trying to keep this kind of, you know, we'll call it data agnostic or software agnostic, uh, not just because I don't want to have this, this uh, VCAS come off as a sales platform. Uh, what we're really trying to talk about here is the best way to do things. And when you're talking about dealing with getting the information that you need, right, whether it's publicly facing data or internal data, and, and helping people find the information and get to the sites and the, and the forms and the data that you want in the simplest, most effective way possible, PDFs are hands down the easiest and simplest way to do that. Um, and I, I, I kind of want to address that question today, right? So there's a big question, you know, why? <laughs> why PDFs? Well, let's start with, with some basic numbers here. Number one, 90% of workers use PDF files every single day. That's just not here in the United States. That is worldwide. 90% of the people on this planet in the workforce use PDF files every day. They know them. They know how to use them. They know, you know how efficient they are, how to work with them. Very easy. 70% of workers own some type of PDF editing software. Whatever the software system is, they have a PDF editing software where they can get in and it will work and they can click and modify it. And that's just the free readers. That's an immense number of people out there who are using PDFs already and know everything there is to know about how to work with them, how to you know, tweak them, adjust them, access them. Their software is fully functional for any tool or, or anything you might want to put in place for PDFs. Right? And the great thing is even the, ones, you know, the other 30% who maybe don't have the editing software, everything we're talking about here today is going to work in the free readers as well. So 100% of PDF workers are going to be able to access and use your data. Um, so one of the things, right, PDFs, it means portable document format, and it is an open source, meaning that it is completely platform agnostic. Um, I have preferences on, you know, which platforms I work in and build data in. But like I was saying, that the key to this is that once the PDFs have been structured and built, everybody in the entire world, all you have to do is give them access to the master level PDF as your primary data source, and they can just start clicking buttons and maps and links to get to where they need. They don't need to have any specific software once it's been created. Um, you know, and, and really, most major PDF editing systems can very easily create what we've been talking about here in the VCAS, which are those dashboarding control systems. And we'll look a little bit more at those in just a few minutes, right? Those systems where it's just point and click. Start at the top level, work your way down, drill down further and further to get to the information people need without having to get into extensive training, right? Which is... My last point here, right? Using the PDF, simple everyday PDF that we all know and love as your primary data source, it lets anybody, anywhere, um, work with your data. You don't need any specific software. You don't need to go out and buy some, some detailed, expensive, you know, ERP system or integration system or set up some complex intranet with access controls and so on. Right? You don't need any of that. You don't need to train people and give them extensive data. You're putting together, right, what we've been talking about here in this, in, in, in this TechFlow conversation, a basic dashboard structure, right? And that dashboard we've talked about in other episodes, it can be map-based or image-based where people can just click on pictures, 
right? And you can guide them to, you know, whatever data they need, or it can be button and, and, and link based and text based, right? There's a number, or we can integrate all of those into any combination that's going to work for you. It's the idea that anybody, we can simply put this PDF either on a, you know, a cloud based hosting site or on an intranet, if that's what you want to do, even out on a website. People can open and access and will work with this PDF file right from where you give it to them. And all the buttons and links and connections will work for everyone in the world. No training required. You don't need to have extensive HTML coding, which very few of us can do. We don't need, you know, expensive, you know, web browser uh, interfaces and, you know, uh, people who know how to code the, the, you know, the intranet or, or internet platforms. Right? You don't need to go out and get yourself any kind of a web developer. This is all basic stuff that most people already know how to do at some level. And that is why we really focus very heavily when we are dealing with, uh, you know, this need for, you know, government based municipal and public facilities where we have just incredible amounts of data that we need to be able to, to target people towards in specific locations within specific files maps and data that link to specific subsets and data sets of, of different areas, right? Uh, you know, accessing files and, and other information that, that we need to integrate with, with everyone. See, just, just what I'm doing here, it's all just point and click. There's no need for anybody to learn anything. Every piece of data about your facility, even down to, you know, looking at cameras and, and aerial photos and of safety and evacuation plans, Whatever type of information you need to share is going to be best manipulated and most easily accessed with no training time required or no specific software at all by using PDFs as your primary data source. So hopefully that answers for you guys the question of why the PDFs. That's why. Right? It's the simplest and best way that we have found here at Zentech for you guys to be able to go in and get that data out there in the best manner possible. And we use, you know, we tend to use Bluebeam as our primary PDF editing software. I'm a huge, huge fan of it. It's got an incredible range of capabilities, but any PDF editing software will work and all end users, regardless of how they're accessing that PDF file, will be able to use all the links and hyperlinks and connections that you guys have built. See, simple. And that's why we use the PDFs. And that's the kind of stuff we like to talk about here on TechFlow for government and public facilities. I'll see you guys in the next episode.